What's going on internet? IG here again today. We're taking a look at another Linux distro review and today it's Linux Lite. So Linux Lite is one of those distributions that I've looked at before as a matter of fact. So I'll leave a link down below and you can see the changes between now and then. And the Linux distro community headed up by Voltam have put a lot of effort into this distribution over the last 12 months to make it as quick, light and user friendly as possible for those switching over from Windows XP. So let's check it out. So Linux Lite prides itself on being a very lightweight distribution with a very simple utilitarian setup and also one that appeals to Windows XP users. Granted, Windows XP is going to be reaching the end of its life in April, I believe. And so Linux Lite really markets itself as being a viable alternative to Windows XP. Now, it also is a very lightweight distribution in terms of the footprint that it has as far as how big the download is. And despite the fact that it is quite a small download, it comes under 700 megs, you still have a good selection of software here to get you going straight out of the bat. Now also, they do pride themselves on being very user friendly, and I believe that they have succeeded with the menu alone. Now, like I've mentioned in other videos, Linux menus can often be confusing when they're just labeled by the names of the applications in the open source world. And these can often be very confusing and make absolutely no sense to the average user. But the menus here in Linux Lite have been customized very nicely to say things as simple as new document, new presentation, or new spreadsheet for the, for the LibreOffice suite, instead of saying LibreOffice Writer, da 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 da. You have VLC Media Player to handle all of your media. You have Firefox and Thunderbird here as well as Mumble, which is where the Linux distro community hangs out. And it's a good idea to have that pre-installed, makes it easy for support. And also the GIMP image editor, as well as image viewer and scanner. And they also have some quick links here to things like the driver information, if you want to install graphics drivers on your system to run Steam. And then also they give you a link to the homepage for Steam, as well as for the Humble Indie Bundle. They come with a handful of accessories and a nice selection of settings here that are mainly customized to the XFCE desktop. And you can see here that in the settings manager, you can manage nearly every part of your system through the XFCE settings manager anyway. Now, just how light is the Linux Lite desktop? Well, to be honest, right now, I am running about 12% of the two gig of RAM that I have assigned it. So it's using hardly any RAM and hardly any CPU either. You can see that it's cycling there between one and 5%. Now, needless to say, even inside of VirtualBox, this distribution flies and the little tweaks that Voltam and the Linux distro community have made go a long way to make Linux user friendly. As you can see here, like the links they have to install additional software like file and folder search, a games pack, instant messenger, iPod manager, all of the things that most people would, most regular people would want to do with their system, they have quick links to install those particular pieces of software. And then for those that don't want it, it's not going to be there and it's not going to be in the way taking up resources. So it's very well thought out and very well put together. And if you're looking for a distribution to hand to somebody who has used Windows XP in the past and doesn't do much with their computer apart from the essentials like Word, Photos, Music, Internet, etc., then this would be a great one to point them to as they won't have to upgrade their hardware and they'll be with a stable distribution that has some useful tweaks for new users. It's not too flashy, it's not one that wants to show off, but it's very functional and it gets the job done. Now this is based on Ubuntu 12.04.3, so it is an LTS release, which means that you're going to get security updates until 2017, which means that this distribution will service Windows XP users quite well, as they won't need to install a new system for a while. For those who would like more technical details about this distribution, it is based off, off the XFC desktop environment, but it is using the Thunar file manager as comes standard with XFCE. And it has most of the recent revisions for the Mozilla suite, as well as an up-to-date Linux kernel so that you're covered as far as hardware compatibility and all of that sort of thing goes. As you can see, application launch speed is pretty ridiculously quick, but obviously this is amplified by the fact that I am running this in a virtual box off an SSD. Of course, XFCE can be customized to your heart's content, so for those who want more flexibility with their desktop environment, you're going to be covered here as well as XFC is very mature and can be tweaked to your heart's content. It also comes with a help and support user manual with such things as keyboard shortcuts and how to get the system running with UEFI, which is with a standard with a lot of new systems now. And it also gives you some pointers for online support as far as connecting to the Linux distro community 
in Mumble or in the IRC chat rooms. Taking the time to do a simple user manual like this one is all a new user would need when it comes to switching over to a system that they're not familiar with. So if you're looking for a distribution for old hardware or for a new user who has been running on old hardware with Windows XP, then definitely point them to Linux Lite because it is a fantastic distribution for the older machines as it offers stability, user friendliness and that massive Ubuntu platform support. Of course, on modern hardware, it's lightning fast, so I definitely check it out if you're wanting a minimalist resource distro, because you'll probably find it's well worth your time. So what do you guys think? When it comes to lightweight distributions, which are the ones that pop into your head? Let me know down in the comments below or on Facebook, Twitter, or Google+, wherever you prefer to hang out. Coming up in the very near future, I'm going to be looking at the top three rolling release Linux distros because there are quite a few solid contenders out there nowadays that are worth looking at. So stay tuned for that. And as always, if you like this video, then definitely click the like button down below because it does help out the channel and hit subscribe if you like this content on a regular basis. I hope I was pointing in the right corner there. Either way, you can all catch me on Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. So any questions, comments, or suggestions that you might have, you can leave them there. And I will see you in the very next video. Peace out, ladies and gentlemen.